This week's message is drawn primarily from the Collect Prayer, assigned to us from the Book of Common Prayer. The kernel of the prayer reads this, Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Now I have a three-year-old son. He has no difficulty with this collect. He just loves to run. He does it at every opportunity, including a few opportunities where maybe moving a bit slower might be more fitting to the situation. But how many of us in the older age brackets feel the same way? How many of us are just so eager to run, except when we absolutely have to? I'm guessing rather few of you responded with a resounding yes. I'm personally feeling pretty tired right now, just on a deeply personal level. And I think many people are. And I think we are communally as well. It might be said that we have a tired church a tired society, tired workplaces, the list goes on and on. And here we have this exhortation to get up and run to obtain God's heavenly promises. But I think there's really something in that image of us running. God isn't saying, run forever until you keel over and expire from exhaustion. God is rather saying, I don't care how tired you think you are, personally, communally, in your family life, in your church life, in your work life, in global life, no matter what, by my grace, by my energy, by my providence, you always can get one more burst of energy. And when you get it, you can get up and run. And the reward for continually praying for those bursts of energy and using them when we get them however improbable, even impossible it might seem in the moment, is that we get to obtain a heavenly treasure. And in case you're wondering, just read some of Scripture's promises in regard to what that heavenly treasure is. It's staggering beyond belief. It's promises that exceed everything we can ask for or imagine. So the exhortation this week is this. Don't be dishonest about how tired you are about how tired we all are, but always remain open to the possibility that in the midst of that tiredness, no matter how deep and dark it might feel, God is always going to offer us another burst of energy at just the right moment so we can get up and run to obtain those heavenly promises.